it's Panda and today we're going to be learning how to make this hideout aquarium. <laughs> There's someone stuck inside of it. Hi guys, it's Panda and today I'm going to be showing you how I built the secret hideout aquarium area. And I said secret hideout because there's a secret doorway over here that leads into a tiny room. I'm going to be showing you how I built this and these fans were so supportive by watching me build this. I hope you enjoyed and no, the concept of the aquarium is not my personal idea, but the hideout area is. So if you want to see how I built this, stay tuned because it's coming right up. Let's do this. All right, so what we're going to be building today is an aquarium just like this. The waterfall is going to be optional and you can also stack up your aquariums to make it look like an entrance. A huge shout out to all these people who are just standing out here watching me and for moral support. So let's first start out with some tables. All right, the grids over here. So as you can see, I have a minimal grid so you like see no grids and you can easily slide this block but with this it shifts every now and then and then in the medium one it shows smaller boxes but this is the smallest so I'm going to first start out by picking a square over here so I'll just pick this this and then I'm going to be rotating this how I'm clicking how I'm rotating this is by clicking R on my keyboard all right so we have those randomly placed. Now I'm going to be getting some plants. <laughs> this is a linear floor plant. And this will act like seaweed kind of. It really depends what you want it to be. And I'm just going to combine this. See over here you need advanced placement. We're going to be technically playing around with these things as I don't know how the tables will fit. And by tables you'll see what I'll I'm going to be talking about. All right, so now you want the spiky plants. This will look like the sea grass on the floor. And we're going to place those all around pretty random. All right, that looks good to me. Don't know if these will show. I don't know, I'm gonna risk it and I'm going to just put two plants. Uh, I didn't put these inside of there. That's why I don't know 100%. So now, what we can get is some lighting. It will look like it's underwater. So I just placed that light over here, the light box, and I'm going to be coloring it like a blue color so it gives it the water glow color. And now we're going to be getting the tables. This is a simplicity end table. I'm pr probably pronouncing all this wrong. So what I'm going to be doing is going to be moving this around with the smallest grid to see if I could place these tables as I go because that's the main point over here and we want to see the tables. So unfortunately you can't see those smaller plants over here. So I'm just gonna delete those smaller plants. All right, so now I could easily place this underneath this block. I'm going to rotate it possibly like so. All right, that looks good to me. And I think I'm gonna get more seaweed, well, seafloor, grass, whatever you wanna call it, more spiky plants, because you want this to look as professional as possible or as realistic. Perfect. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna add some more here. Oh, and to get the bird's eye view how I'm showing it right now, I just press space on my keyboard. So if you press space, it goes up above it and you can see the top view of it. And then over here, we're going to be needing some tables. I'm gonna just place down three, like so. All right. Aha, no, <laughs> you saw that? It was like right next to it. Okay, I'm gonna place these tables all around fully and be moving around with these plants. So I'll do that. So 
So we got this down. It, the plants look pretty scattered out if you ask me. It doesn't look so bad. What you could also add is a stuffed animal octopus. Now I know octopuses may not be in fish tanks, but why not? Fabric octopus. There we go. And let's put him hiding back here. You want this little octopus hiding. So after grabbing the octopus, what you want to do now is color this table like a sand color because that's going to be the only table showing, well, one of the only. So I'm going to try the wheat color over here and scroll down to the sand texture. That looks like sand to me, so I'm going to press check and then do that for all four of them. All right, since we have that done, now I'm going to be coloring in these plants, only the top of it, because you don't need to color the bottom of the rock since that's not going to be visible. So I'm just going to use three types of green shades and then I'll show you after. All right, so we have the three different types of green shades and what you could do also is color in these seaweed grass colors, different colors if you wanted. I think I may just do a few of them to make them stand out. All right, that's good enough for me. And let's see, octopus color, should we go with purple or orange? I think I'll go with like purplish. There you go. We'll have a hiding octopus right there. Oh, that looks so cute. All right, now what else you could do, I'm going to be adding on to what I'm showing I'm going to get soap and I'm gonna place these down this is like tiny textures that you could do so what I just did is I clicked the color so now I'm going to be getting the same wheat color over here getting the same texture as the sand so now you could see the rim of the soap bar is blended in and I'm going to get this color to be gray so it looks like rock or you can even get them to be white. I don't know if that will look good. They may look like pearls or like shells maybe. I think I'm gonna stick with the gray so it kind of looks like rocks. And then what you can do now is grab a wall and surround it fully. Perfect, just like so. I'm gonna delete this stranding little table. And now this is the optional part. You can, so this costs like Bloxburg money over here, which costs Robux. You don't have to put the waterfall, it just gives it a little bit more like livelihood. If you can see here, you could kind of see the moving water in the back. But if you don't want that and you want the all side, you can view through the aquarium, like in the middle of your mansion, who knows, you can get these, let me show you which ones, these windows, which are called clear windows, literally just click on them and then drag them like that and put them all the way around. Perfect. So after you do that, you can pick whatever texture, color, anything you want for the outside. I think I may just go with, hmm, actually, I don't know. I think I want a different color. I kind of like this dark blue. And then for the glass outside, see where this blue part is? That's the transparency. So if you choose like a dark blue, it looks like more oceany, if that's even a word. If not, I just made it up. Um, and then you can like choose the rim of it if you want it to blend in. You can get the same color, same texture, and then it looks pretty awesome. All right, so I finished coloring that. All we need is a roof up here. Now, if you wanted to build like an entrance way and not put a roof, you just get the flooring, click the manual placement. Oh no, click the automatic placement, there you go. And then with these dots, make it all around and then right click and so you have your top. Now, with this, you want to just click your window and then it shows up here. I want it to blend in, so I'm going to get the same color, which I used for the outside. Awesome, just like so. And then we have one part of our aquarium. Now, 
I'm saying you're able to stack them if you wanted, which may sound a little bit crazy if you ask me. But what I'm saying is that you can make the same thing all around and make like a little doorway over here. So I'm just going to be doing this to <laughs> make sure you know what I'm talking about. And then over here can be like a huge window, which is like four spaces, but like a huge window. And then you can like walk through it like so. So I think I'm going to be doing that and just speeding up the time as I just showed you how to build that. Now it's the stages to put in the window so I'm just going to put these in on the sides and then I'm going to be deciding if I want those along here or if I want the longer ones. Now let me see. So I could do that. I think that looks pretty epic. So I am going to be keeping that and doing that to the same side. Perfect. So here we have it. Now we're just going to be coloring these windows these color to blend in <gasps> actually i'm like in love with that that looks awesome okay let's finish this up all right well there we have it now all we gotta do is open this floor and then choose the same color pattern as we did here I think that looks pretty awesome like that. So now, since we have this all done, we're going to be wanting, um, let's just get a roof and go to the second floor and add it on here. Press the manual, I mean automatic, put that roof on like so, color it. So we have this done, it looks pretty epic if you ask me. What I'm going to be doing is adding in some lighting or some candles, whatever you want to call it, because you can't like stick these in here. And you can place candles on tables, so that's good. And we could try placing it in the middle here to give it light. We only need like two. And then if you just like play around with it and just 
color it green. Oh, look, it blends in so good. Oh my gosh, yes. And what I'm going to be doing here, you need a darker color green because this is like a darker secret. All right, and you can t see the tiny octopus is right over here. Now, if you wanted, I'm going to be showing you how to do like a hideout area. Not really a hideout area, but we'll, we'll see from there and just go along with it because I'm just making this up as I build. Now we're going to be getting stairs. Yes, you want those, let that let in. And we're going to get these flat stairs, plane ramps, that's what they're called. And this will be like a rock figure thingy, my bobber. <laughs> I'm just like going as we build, honestly. Okay, so we got that down. Now what we want to do is get like this concrete texture. That's not the texture that I want. Where's the concrete? Aha, there we go. So that looks like a rock. We may want to get like a darker color concrete. There we go. So we got that down. Now if you see these tiny gaps, you don't want those. So what I'm going to be doing is getting these little plants to lay it off and make it look like it blends in. And now I'm going to get these large rocks as decoration and put them all around the build so these stairs don't stand out as much and it kind of looks like it blends in. I also think that I'm going to change this color to make it the rock color because it looks better and it looks more realistic. Awesome. So we got that down. Oh, no, no, no. Amazing. Are you sure? <laughs> Thank you so much. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> That got me off guard. Oh, well then. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be getting the floor and get around these rock edges and try and make it blend in. So what we need here is possibly another flooring and I think I'm going to be adding these like plants on top to kind of make it less visible even though it's kind of obvious that you can tell there's like a secret thing underneath it but that's okay it looks great. So what we could do here we can add like a mini pool if you wanted but I think I'm going to be doing maybe like a tiny seat and that's pretty much it because we don't need much. And then that's our flooring right here. And what I'm going to be putting is see if we have anything that looks under the water fish. You know what we could do? It, aren't there like bubble machines now? So let's try searching up bubble. Aha! Take a look at this. We're going to be adding some bubble machines so it actually looks like you're underwater. That's going to be looking awesome. <gasps> Take a look at this! Oh my gosh, I'm actually so excited right now. This looks better than I thought it would, honestly. And then you could put bubble machines in here. Color it. Oh, you can color it the sand color so it blends in. Yes, I'm in love with that. And then I'm gonna color this one rock color. Because you want it to blend in. Same with these inside of here. There we have it. <gasps> Whoa! Honestly, I'm high key living for this. Okay. <laughs> I'm loving it. Now, what we have to do is just place a wall. Ken, this is a normal wall. That looks pretty, pretty normal to me. It doesn't. <laughs> but now we're going to get some doors. Hmm. Aha! A small roller gate. That does not work there. So we're going to get a door, as I said. 
a sliding door, yes, yes, and then color it back matching color. Now, if you walk back here, it's barely noticeable, so now we're going to get some more rocks and blend it in so you won't even notice. All right, and I personally think this looks pretty awesome and that we're done. And to put this to the test, I'm going to get out of build mode. Take a look at all these people out here. I'm gonna get out of build mode and see who can be the first one to walk in there. But hold up, we need a form of light in here. <laughs> so we're gonna get maybe a chandelier. You know what? We're gonna make this look beautiful. We gotta do this. You ready? I'm also going to place down a power box because I'm too lazy to turn on all the lights. <laughs> okay, we're placing down a power box. Let's get out of build mode. Let's see who will be the first one. Try and find the secret. <gasps> Look over there, there's someone over there. <gasps> Don Roblox got it. He got it first. Take a look at how awesome this looks. Everyone's just going in here. <gasps> This is cooler than I expected it to be. I really like it. Take a look at this. This person's going upstairs. She's like, find what? It's a secret. She couldn't even find it. They said, I found it. So Dawnwood, you will get a reward if you stop moving. Okay, you get a 1k award for finding it. Congratulations, even though it's pretty obvious since there's one huge structure over here and there's a doorway. Let me take a look. There's someone sitting inside here, Madeline. She says hi. She's demonstrating that you could sit on these little seats and just chillax out here because, you know, this is awesome. This is pretty spacious if you ask me. You can even add like a bed. It could be your tiny home. You know what? It actually could. And this is what we started out with, this small little aquarium, and we built it into that. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me down below if you will use this aquarium idea in your house. You can even keep it as that simple one. Again, reminder that this is not my original idea. I did see an aquarium build before, and that's how I got, like, the idea for it but I made it original and I really hope you enjoyed. Bye everybody and I'll see you in my next video. Panda Girl is out! <laughs> Bye Panda Wandas! If you enjoyed this video click that subscribe button to be part of the Panda Wanda Habitat. Also click that notification bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Bye!